Welcome everybody to another Let's Play. I'm number 12 and today I'm playing FTL again. The reason is quite simple. Um, I checked the game yesterday, or the game site yesterday, and um, noticed they had finally released the Advanced Edition. And with that we're just going to look at a few changes. I want to start a new game because the old one was merely a test because I had to fiddle with the sound settings again just to make sure you can hear me and you can hear that spacey music in the background and you can hear the uh, sound effects quite well oh, well not too well but it's all understandable it's uh, always kind of uh, difficult if you record a let's play because I think I mentioned it already I really can't hear anything right now because I had to, s uh, to turn the sound so low it's barely audible. Anyway, as for the changes, as you can see every ship has received a third layout. We got some more ships, we got well, one more ship, the Lanius Cruiser, which uh, is unlocked without any kind of quest, which is nice. Although I think it's more to showcase some of the uh, abilities or some of the new things you got, like the hacking module and the Lanius. Or Lanius, I don't know how they are pronounced. Uh, as you can see, those are unaerobic beings and they drain oxygen from rooms and apparently are slowed down if there is no oxygen, which I suppose makes sense, no idea. They shouldn't really bother the lack of oxygen being anaerobic beings. Also, there are a bunch of new weapons, like the Chain Burst Laser, which recharges faster each time it's, uh, it's fired, and the Stun Gun, which is just like the iron weapon, but it also stuns the crew. Uh, I also am now able to use the Slug Cruiser without having to do this quest, which is... alright, I guess. At least it allows me to use it without actually unlocking it, although I did enjoy having to unlock it as well. Um, there are a few more changes in the game. I can also, uh, as you can see, I did a few test runs. I managed to unlock the Mantis Cruiser Type C, which is a bit like the Mantis Cruiser Type B. It just has a cloning bay instead of a med bay. I'm not sure I like that. You also get a Lanius and uh, an NG crew. Also those uh, crystal lockdown bombs and stun bombs, so I'm kinda looking forward to the other layouts. You unlock type C by uh, using the second uh, type of a ship and getting to sector 8. Which shouldn't be that hard. I suppose we'll... Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which ship we are going to use. I guess we are going with the... we're not going with the Mantis Cruiser. Also, I'm not sure if that is uh, recorded, but somebody is mowing the lawn outside, so it might be a bit loud. I suppose we'll use the... 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 Let's use the Sultan ship. We'll use the Noether, Noether, no idea how it's uh, pronounced. <coughs> oh yeah, you can also see we got some uh, new colors for each race, except humans, they still only have two uh, different looks. Anyway, let's dive right in. We can also uh, disable the advanced edition content, which is also a nice idea, because it... Yeah, maybe it has a few things we don't like. It also makes the uh, mothership a bit harder to beat, which is a pain in the ass, to say the least. But I suppose I'll show you. I hope I can. Anyway, enough talking for now. Let's dive right into it. We'll go with a normal difficulty, because I don't feel masochistic right now. Okay, uh, easy is a bit too easy. We'll go with normal. <coughs> Okay, we know that. That didn't change. There are also a fair amount of new events, which is again pretty cool. I think I want to 
that way. We can disable the mat bay just so we can power this uh, pike beam. I guess we can also drop that so we can fully power our weapons. Why aren't... Oh, apparently it was... Okay, fine. So with this uh, loadout we are going to do our first jump. As I said, oh my god. Okay, this is uh, one of the new events. We are near a pulsar, pulsar which will periodically flare and give an EMP burst. I shouldn't have to say that this is probably the most annoying thing you can find in the entire known universe. Or maybe not in the entire known universe, but it's it's quite annoying really. We'll pike beam their ship to dust like that. That was the uh, Pulse R with the, the EMP pulse. Okay, let's blast that and that. Actually, can you auto fire those? We're not going to change our targeting. I suppose I will try to get better sensors. Oh, right, uh, that's another change I will show you. You can actually man your sensors and your doors right now. There is no skill assigned to those, but it counts as an extra level. So if I move this guy to the doors, we get blast doors. And we can also, if I... Okay, uh, another thing is we got... We can see now where the beacon links to, so we can better plan our route and not be kind of trapped in a, in a beacon that doesn't have any way out. And so we don't have to backtrack, which is something I really enjoy. It, uh, or having to backtrack has caused me quite a bit of anno uh, annoyance. Also the rebel fleet is now really hard to fight, so if they catch you, they will probably kill you. It's really hard to defend because now you randomly get damaged. I suppose we'll see that too. We intervene to defend the outpost because we can. There's also a fly flying around here. I hate that. Okay, um, not getting distracted. We need to kill that. I could have waited, I know. But who cares, really? Yes, I am aware this was probably a stupid move. Let's see if that works. Oh, come on, hit the damn thing. Actually, let's uh, take out that drone instead of the uh, engine. Considering they can't really um, evade our attack. We keep their shields locked down, so everything is fine. Okay, the next hit should take them out. We got a bunch of stuff. Yeah, you also got those uh, optical updates, which I don't think look that nice. I, I like the other way. Although it was a bit hard to tell if you got something at times, if you didn't pay attention. Um, okay, did I want to change? Uh, yeah, I want to close the doors again. Because our crew is fairly fragile, so we don't want them to suffocate. Okay, we will investigate. We find a secret Federation outpost, but we are not the first there. So we didn't get anything. Let's cancel that. We will update our mad bay first. Because I don't like running into distress signals without having my mad bay at level 2. We have plenty of fuel, so we will give those guys some fuel. And we get some scrap. There are also new rewards for that, so you don't get scrap every time. 
Not sure if you got crap to begin with every time, but now they can also update your reactor or do something else. I think I also got a weapon at some point. This is bad. They have a burst laser mark too. Really? Was that necessary? I don't think it was. Anyway, we are going to shut down their shields. Kinda have to. And hope their weapons get hit. Um, yeah, take those out. Can I hit everything? No. Can't hit the shields, so we're trying to bring down the weapons instead. Boink. Yeah, this is probably not going to end well for us, because we don't really have the ability to tank all that damage, or to yeah, pretty much to tank all those asteroids we are currently flying through. I suppose I should invest in a long-range scanner at some point. They're trying to get away, which is not very likely to succeed, considering our beam is still cutting across their ship. We, however, are still trapped in this asteroid field, and I don't particularly like that. Let's jump the hell away. Into a sun. Oh, goody. As if we weren't in trouble to begin with. Uh, my. Okay, let's uh, iron blast that out. <sighs> Get the shields, thank you. Now let's try to hit everything that can hurt us. It didn't hurt them enough, but we can shoot their drones. So it's basically shut down. And we just got the uh, solar flare. Let's open some more doors. I don't want our shields to go down. Let's open that too. And hope for the best. Okay, they got our shields, which is really bad for us. It's, it's really unhealthy if your shields die down in a solar flare. Because they can take away some of the damage you would otherwise take. We'll just jump away and hope there is no enemy here. <coughs> if there is, we are pretty much boned. We are lucky, nothing is around. Absolutely nothing at all. Also let me show you another change, which is another really really awesome thing. I'll just place this guy here, this guy here, and this guy here for a second. Then I'll use those fancy buttons. I want to save the crew lo uh, locations. Now I want to have everybody over here to fix that. <coughs> And once this is all patched up, we will do something fairly easy. Oh, well, not easy, but something really cool. We can just send our crew back to those places they were. So we don't have to check everybody and see which skills he has leveled to see where they were. That's another pretty cool change, in my opinion, because it really was a bit fiddly at times to see where you wanted to send your crew. They're trying to get away. Also, they have. We don't need that. They have one of those chain laser things, which is going to charge pretty awfully fast once they actually get into. Uh, once they are done. And I must say, I was hit by some kind of. Uh, I ran into something with kind of a, a Gatling gun or whatever. And it completely obliterated me. Because it, it was like firing almost non stop, and it, I, I didn't see a chance to, to beat it. 
It's not in this game though, so we'll see. It it just was annoying because it, it kinda kept stun locking me. Because my weapons went down, it, it kept shooting and it kept killing pretty much everything. So you get what I mean. It was just a pain in the ass. Damn, I wanted to aim the other way around. Anyway, they probably won't get away. And we have hit the 15 minute mark already. So I'm gonna end the recording after this battle. So, which is right now, we'll see what we got. We have a backup DNA bank. This is um, another new augmentation. I'll show you what it does. If we have a cloning device, our crew is not killed. Cloning device is something that is operating kind of instead of the Mad Bay. It will revive your crew with slightly less skills than they died with, but you don't really lose your crew anymore. Um, it also has passive healing, so y each time you jump, you regenerate some health. That is an interesting twist, I must say. Anyway, our 15 minutes are over now, so I'll see you in a moment.